How you feeling? Man, just finna get this finna get this good word in. I'm currently cooking though. I got me some uh some 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 vegan tenders in the uh in the in the oven right now. Yeah, I got them in the oven right now. So I got those cooking and while they cook, I said I was gonna hop on here because I mean I gotta be up to watch those anyway, so we're here. We're here, we're here, we're here. Yeah, it's fire. Yep, and we're about to get this good word in. We coming from Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you living? How was your day? How was your day? How's y'all days going? Or how did it go? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, so I have um one Bible verse, one Bible verse, and this is going to be the, uh, this is going to be the word for tonight, and it comes from Matthew chapter 16, verse 26, yes, let me know when y'all ready, we're going to say our prayer, and we're going to go ahead and get on up into it. I'm really supposed to be asleep because I, I got uh I got work at six o'clock in the morning. But it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. When the spirit calls, the spirit calls, y'all. You gotta listen. You got to listen. So let's go ahead and say our prayer. Dear God, I want to thank you for allowing us to be present in this moment right here currently. Dear God, I just ask that you allow us to be able to accept this word, allow it to be food for our spirit, allow it to heal us, allow it to make us feel brand new, dear God, and allow it to nourish our body and allow everything to be all right and allow us to not stress, but put our full trust in you and understand that you will do crazy things for us. You will move mountains for us, dear God. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Yes. Okay. So we're coming from... Matthew's chapter 16, verse 26. And it says, And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is it anything worth more than your soul? Mm. That right there. That verse right there. Like how I told y'all, you cannot be of this world. If you want to be a true man or a woman of God, you can't be of this world. You got to forget about social media. You have to forget about your flesh. You have to focus on your soul because your soul. The finger thing you're talking about, like like this right here and like that. Yeah, you just you just put your hands together, pray, and that's it. That's it. But you have to be a man or a woman of God. And a true man or woman of God does not focus on the world, but their relationship with God. Because like how I told y'all, God isn't of this time. God isn't of this world. So we can't be of this world. Yes, God created this world. But at the same time, God did not, you know, he, he he's not of this world. He's not of this world. So you have to stay focused. And the, 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 the main way that you can stay focused is by releasing yourself from feeling as if the world controls you. Because the world is not your master. God is your master. That's who you answer to. God is your master. It comes so often that people will let a job, people will let money, People will let social media drain them of their soul and now they don't have a soul anymore. God removes people out of your life because he feels as if they have done already served their purpose in your life. Sometimes you, not sometimes, you have two types of people in your life that God puts in your life. God puts a lesson in your life and he puts a blessing in your life. A lesson is only meant for a season. So that's the person who God is removing up out of your life. And the blessing is that person who is there to stay. That person is going to continuously teach you life lessons. That person is going to continuously help you with your character development. You see what I'm saying? 
So that's why God removes people up out of your life. So if you remove someone out of your life, like how I told y'all yesterday, you have to be obedient. You got to let that person be. God don't make no mistakes. Yes. But your soul is the most important thing. You aren't of this. You, you, you can't be of this world. If you close your eyes and you hear yourself talk, you hear your voice and you know for a fact that you're not just the flesh. And that's why I say race does not matter. I think so, too. I think so, too. It just kind of it just kind of feels like it. It feels like it, like something in my spirit is telling me that something is going to go down. I'm not sure how it's going to happen, you know, and at the end of the day, that's why y'all have to live right. Y'all have to repent. Y'all have to repent. Y'all have to repent. Y'all have to pray. Talk to God. I'm telling you, you have to talk to God. And that's why I say we got to wake up as many as people. We got to wake up as many people as we can because the ending days are here. The world is evil. The world is evil. Like I just saw a live of a whole bunch of people who were atheists, right? They were atheists. They didn't believe, they don't believe in God. Oh, by, listen, by praying, praying. Listen, how you can stop committing adultery, you have to pray. You have to pray. Pray that God puts a distasteful taste in your mouth whenever you think about committing adultery. And it's it's all about if you're willing to improve. If you're willing to improve, then God will forgive you. Yes, yes, our flesh, you can't be of your flesh. And why do you think whenever... Somebody wants to become famous whenever somebody wants to get clout, they sell their soul. Like how I told y'all yesterday in the book of Genesis chapter two, it tells you about how Adam and Eve were deceived with the tree of life. God told them not to eat from it. And that's like with temptation. Look how you said ISO with adultery. That's temptation, right? It's all up to you. God tells you what to do and what not to do. It's all up to you on if you choose to do that thing or if you don't choose to do that thing. The choice is yours. He gives us the freedom. He gives us the freedom. He gives us the freedom. The free will to be able to make our own decisions. So if you want to believe, then it's amazing for you to believe. You can accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and we know for a fact at the end of the day, he's the only way to God. So we cannot just have a relationship with God. We can't just have a relationship with God without having a relationship with Jesus. You have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Like how I broke it down to y'all, it's like an egg. You have the shell inside. Boom. You feel what I'm saying? It all, it all comes down to that. It all comes down to that. But in order for you to truly get connected with God, you have to first resist yourself. Yes, yes. And here's what I say. I say start in the beginning. Start in the beginning. It's very difficult, but you should get the Bible app. Get the Bible app and it reads it for you. It has many different versions. It's a, I think a, it's an NIV version that is the easiest to understand because the King James have like big words. So I would recommend, I would definitely recommend uh, the the uh, NIV, NIV definitely. But yes, like you have to resist your flesh. The Bible tells us to pick up our cross and follow me, follow me, all of our burdens, everything. You can't just follow God without picking up your cross. Yes, God will relieve you from all of your stress and all of your worries, but you have to pick up your cross and walk. You have to resist your flesh because at the end of the day, we're not our flesh. That's why I say as far as as far as our races, what we call, you know, different different races, they don't matter. They don't matter. It's all about what's on the inside because you can see a beautiful woman, right? You can see a beautiful woman or a beautiful man or a handsome man, right? They could be so handsome or so beautiful, but on the inside, on the inside, they're ugly. 
It's their soul what matters. And it reminds me of the Disney soul movie. Your soul is the most important thing because your soul belongs to God. Your soul belongs to God. That's why the enemy wants your soul. Because without your soul, you're nothing. Think about it like this right here. So many people try to tell you that, oh yeah, money, money is the most important thing. I'm going to be honest with you. Psalms, there's a couple. There's a couple. It was one that I just read. I just read. I'm going I'm to go through and I'm going to look. I'm going to look after I finish this right here. But what I'll tell you is this right here. Money, clothes, cars, all of this thing that's all of these things that's of this world don't matter. The only thing that matters is building a relationship with God. However, that may be for you, because God speaks to each and every one of us differently. God speaks to each and every one of us differently. It's all about building a relationship with God. You have to realize that in order for you to even get to judgment day, you have to have your soul. You have to have your soul. So for those who have sold their soul, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work for God to be able to accept you back in because you no longer have a soul. How can the Holy Spirit be sent through you if you don't have a soul? Think about it like this right here. You can have all of the money in the world, but the moment that God calls you home, you can't take none of that with you. The only thing that goes is your soul. That's the only thing that goes. And that's why this Bible verse tells you. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? Nothing is worth more than your soul. I'm going to be honest with you. It's all about if you're willing. If you're willing. It just seems that like. Certain artists who have sold their soul, they're just lost cause. They're so deep into luxury and money to where they're just lost. They're just lost. It's all about if they can swing back. It's all about if you're willing. Like I told y'all, God gives us the freedom to be able to believe or not believe. That's what God gives us. He gives us that freedom. Either we choose to or either we choose to not. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He gives us that freedom. But you've got to choose the right thing. And trust me, I done been on both sides. I done been on the side to where I was in my darker times to where I didn't believe. And life was hard, y'all. Life was hard. I, 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 I couldn't even I couldn't even live a peaceful life. I wasn't happy until I found God. And that's when I started to have a glow to myself. That's when I started to feel more confident. I started to walk in rooms and I didn't have to say a word, but my, 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 my aura just radiated God. That's what you have to do. You have to pray and ask God to show through you, to heal your soul. Keep your soul. Ask God to heal your soul. Your soul is the most important thing. Your soul is who you truly are. You aren't this flesh. This flesh means absolutely nothing. This right here is just a vessel, just like how we are to God. This right here is just a vessel. What matters is what's on the inside. Is your soul pure? Does your soul want to get right for God? Are you willing? I feel like the reason why most people hate God nowadays is because of this right here, right? So it's so many different religions, right? And the main thing, what I tell people, if you want to truly get a close relationship with God, you got to hear God's voice for yourself. So you can't follow what everybody else is doing. You have to focus on relationship rather than religion. And it comes so often that everybody views hating God as cool now. I seen a, a guy on TikTok live and this dude had like over 4,000 people in there. All of them were atheists. They hated God and people who believed in God would come up on there and try to get them to 
convince themselves into believing. But you have to realize that God gives us a freedom of choice to choose what it is that we want to do. Listen, all you can do is just plant that seed. Plant that seed and keep moving. You plant that seed, you water it for them, and it's up to it's up to them on if they want to keep watering it. But only thing you got to do, you don't even Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Whenever it comes down to spreading the word, it's not really about the word of mouth. It's really about your actions. Like you being a faithful Christian, is the love of God truly radiating through you? Are you truly setting an example for someone to follow behind your footsteps? Do you truly think that you're doing the thing what Jesus would do? Are you walking with purity? Are you being an example for those who want to follow in your footsteps? That's the question. If you want to build a relationship with God, you have to start pushing yourself towards living right. Nobody's perfect. Nobody can be like Jesus. We can try. Here's the thing. Secular music, right? The first step is understanding that music has a big influence on your mind, y'all. It has a big influence on your mind. Like you listen to like you listen to like a certain song and it gets you rowdy, makes you want to fight. You have to do this right here. Here's what I've been doing. I only listen to old school jams. I don't listen to this music nowadays because they're not talking about nothing. They're talking about the same exact thing. Money, cars, clothes, getting women, killing it's the same thing all over again. That's why I, it's just become distasteful to me. I can't. I, I make music myself, but I only listen to music that actually makes me feel something. That's the type of music that I listen to. I only listen to music that makes me feel something. That's the type of music that you listen to. Not this music that, like, what? What? how, how does this song go? Yeah, that's what's up, man. My 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 Miami Heat won as well. <laughs> but how's that song go by by, by Doja Cat? She a, she a what? She a bad like it's distasteful. It's distasteful. Yes, yes, and that's why do you think why do you think the music industry is so evil? The reason why it's so evil is because of what you just said. They, <laughs> here's the thing. Let me tell you the difference between God and the devil, right? The devil wants you to sell your soul. The devil wants you to sell your soul. That way, he has your soul and you get what you wanted all along. You wanted money. You wanted fame. You got exactly what you wanted. But then all of a sudden, you've seen Oh man, none of this stuff is fulfilling. It's not fulfilling. I, I don't feel happy. I want my soul back. It's too late. It's too late. You have to realize that none of that stuff is fulfilling. My phone is on 1%, y'all. <laughs> Let's see. Minnesota. But the difference is the devil gives it to you, but with the cost, right? So he gives it to you. He wants your soul. He wants your soul. So he takes your soul and then all of a sudden you have money, you have fame, you have everything that you wanted, right? But you're not fulfilled. You're not fulfilled. You don't feel good on the inside. You don't. Versus God. God is going to put you through the storm. Build you up. He's not going to give it back. God is going to build you up. God is going to make you strong. 
God is going to actually prepare you for the blessing that, that he has in store for you. That's what God is going to do. And then when you get it, it's fulfilling. Why is it fulfilling? Because God has already prepared you for it. You're ready. You're ready to accept your blessing. And then and only then when you're ready, that's when he's going to give it to you. God isn't on our time, but God is on time. God is on time. The goal is to keep your soul, put your trust in God, and everything is going to be all right. Trust God, y'all. Trust God. Having a relationship with God is important, but having a relationship with Jesus is just as important as well. That's why you got to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything. Thank you for sacrificing your life. Thank you, Jesus. That alone, the name Jesus can cast out demons. If you're dealing with lustful thoughts, adultery, if you're dealing with stress, depression, whatever it is that you may be dealing with, say it, say depression. I demand you out of my body, out of my temple in Jesus name. And the only thing you got to say is in Jesus name, that's you trusting Jesus. That's you putting your all in Jesus. You know for a fact that the name Jesus can move mountains, can cast out demons, the name Jesus. That's what it's all about. It's not about money. It's not about cars, clothes. It's not about fame. None of this matters. None of this matters. It's all about, are you happy on the inside? Is your soul fulfilling to God? Because once you pass away, your soul shoots into the air. It shoots into the sky. And that's when you meet God. That's when you meet God. You want God to be able to say, well done, my child. Well done. Well done. You don't want to get to heaven, right? Well, not get to heaven. Get to that judgment day. And God tell you that he, that he, never, he never really knew you. You didn't really believe. Your faith wasn't as strong. You didn't have that faith as small as mustard seed. So you got to ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Would Jesus keep going? Would Jesus spread love? Would Jesus be compassionate to others? Yes. Do that same thing. You have to be a good person. That's the only way that you're going to get blessed. 22. That's the only way that you're going to get blessed. I'm going to be honest with you. As far as the earth... I'm not of this world. You can't be of this world as well. Whatever this earth is, it is. You just focus on a relationship with God. That's it. God is this creator of, 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 of this earth, of this universe. So only thing you do is just focus on God. However, however the way that God has created this earth, whether it's flat or whether it's round, I'm happy to be here. It's all about making an impact. I'm thankful for God. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Listen, I'm, listen, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for Jesus. I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit. I'm thankful that God is continuously using me. I'm thankful that I'm a vessel. I'm thankful that I'm able to make an impact on millions. Like I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for for life itself. Because life cannot be taken for granted. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for y'all too. I'm thankful for y'all. I'm telling you. Y'all all are my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm thankful for y'all. And I want you to know that your life is amazing. Your life is worth it. And I want you to know that I love you. You mean a lot to me. And I know that you might not have heard this in a, in a, in a while. But listen, you're doing an amazing job. You're doing an amazing job, and I'm proud of you. This right here. The reason why I go live is because I want to create a safe space for people who come in here. I want y'all to know that your, your thoughts, your opinions, your questions are safe here. You, you, like, you, you, you're welcome here. You're welcome here. I want y'all to know that. Your soul is what's important. So you have to save your soul. Pray over your soul every single day because there's so many lost souls. You don't want to be a lost soul. You don't want to.
Yes. You don't want to. God is amazing. 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 All we can do is pray. All we can do is pray. You know, prayer is the answer. Prayer is the way how you can talk to God. Prayer, 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 prayer. Yes, prayer is the answer. I love each and every one of y'all. I'm feeling a little bit tired, so we about to go ahead and uh hit the bed. Yeah, got to get up bright and early in the morning. So we're going to go ahead and get our last prayer in, and we're going to wrap it up. But what I want y'all to know is that your soul is the most important thing. Your soul is the most important thing. Your soul is what's fulfilling. I'm telling y'all, whatever it is, don't chase money. Don't chase none of that. Just make sure that you're living right for God and that your soul is still with you. Don't lose yourself in luxury. Don't lose yourself in this world because this world does not love us. This world... This world condemns us, especially people who who believe in God. It's a trend now to hate God. It's crazy. It's crazy the narrative that they're pushing. That's why I say you got to get off of social media. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm thankful for you as well. That's why I said y'all have to find God too for yourself as well. I'm going to lead y'all. I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm going to make sure that I guide y'all. And it's so crazy how the spirit led me to, to, to hop on this live. At first, I don't know why I wasn't really feeling the hopping on live tonight, but I went ahead and I did it and I don't regret it. I'm thankful for each and every one of y'all. I want y'all to know that y'all mean a lot to me. I'm thankful for y'all. If nobody has ever told you, I'm thankful for you and your life means something. God is going to work in your life. Us, 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 everybody who's in this life, we have to stick together. We have to stick together. We have to spread the word. We have to. Our presence, our presence has to radiate God. That's it. Sometimes it's not about what you say, but how you act. Sometimes it's not about how, from what you say, it's about how you act, your happiness. People see that you're happy. Why are you so happy? People will ask you, why are you so happy? Why are you smiling all the time? Because I got God in my life. That's why I'm happy. They're like, wow, if they're so happy with God, let me try and find God as well. It's all about planting that seed. 4K likes, that's a big W. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Seriously. I want y'all to take care. Be safe. We're about to say our prayer. But I want y'all to take care. All right? Take care. And your life means something. And God is going to move in your life. God is going to move in your life. I appreciate that. I really do. I'm going to try and go live every single night. Every single night. I'm going to try and go live. I'm, I'm, I'm off on Friday. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go live a, a good little bit. A good little bit. For a long period of time. But yeah. I really do love y'all. I really do love y'all. And I'm going to keep making these videos because I know, regardless if I get one like, I know that it means a lot to that one like. You know, it's all about playing that seed. It's all about playing that seed. But I love y'all. We're going to go ahead and say our prayer. We're going to go ahead and say our prayer. And let's, let's end this out. All right? Dear God, I want to thank you for allowing me to spread your word. I want to thank you for allowing us to be here together, present in this moment. Dear God, I just ask that you allow us to be truly grateful. Work in our life, dear God, and just move us and allow us to be strong. Allow us to be here for each other. Allow us to love each other. Allow us to give each other grace, dear God, just like Jesus did, dear God. Allow us to just be cleansed, dear God. Allow anything that's not of you to be distasteful to us, dear God. And allow us to move in the right direction in the way that you want us to move, dear God. Give us your vision on where you want us to move, dear God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. It's all about building your faith strong. It's all about building your faith. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to try and go live tomorrow, too. <laughs> I'm going to try and go live tomorrow, too. But I don't want y'all to take care. I truly do love y'all, all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. I want y'all to take care. I want y'all to be safe. I want y'all to be safe. Listen, don't worry about the world. Don't worry about the world. The things that you see going on right now are just God fulfilling everything that he said he was going to do. 
Suffering, struggling is just all a part of what God has put us on this earth to see. It's all just to make us stronger. It's all a part of God's plan. Trust God's plan. I don't question nothing. I don't question nothing. If something happens, I'm like, okay, it's God's doing. It's okay. It's okay. It's not my doing. I can't control anything. Anything that's out of my control, I let it go. Toss my hands up and I just let it be. Press y'all as well. Press y'all as well. I want y'all to take care. I want y'all to be safe. I truly do love y'all. I want y'all to know that God is going to work in your life. God is going to move y'all. And God is going to make y'all stronger. But you cannot be of this world. You cannot be of this world. All right? Be strong. Take care. I truly do love y'all. I want y'all to take care, take care, take care. God bless each and every one of y'all. Have an amazing night. Get in your bag and get to it.